welcome back to part 19 of my mother will thank you let's play total war warhammer 3 we continue where we left things off last time a fresh turn a fresh series of vengeance to be unleashed against our foes uh i could push up here actually and spank no. norska and try and block archaeon marching on in because the chorfs can't quite reach him just yet so yeah i think that's a that's a goal close victory yeah take it occupy my frozen kingdom expands okay uh, archaeon's gonna come towards us maybe they'll come to i mean maybe, i say he'll come towards us. maybe he won't maybe he will maybe he won't guess we'll wait and see um yeah best of the court beautiful from Kislev's great gods. And ceremonial adornments for even more uh, melee defense and armor for Zargard units. That's going to make them strong, isn't it? 120 armor, defense at 54, 70 defense for the regular Zargard. That's ridiculous. I love it. Uh, you can be repaired for now, but I imagine they're going to send more troops. Yachich. Um, yeah, get rid of that and instead definitely build some defenses at plus can't build that yet because you're not upgraded. Uh, Ostrogoth, get some defenses in there and then rush Ostankia right up there. What are we researching right now? Oh yeah, we're going through this when fighting against them, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really could do with the... I've already got cleanse jinx portal. Targets any target army yeah, to a magical forest. Yeah, yeah. So I could I could teleport them away to a magical forest, but uh, actually yeah, I can, I can send them to ones like the other side of the world. Actually, to be fair, <laughs> just really mess them up. Uh, what does that do? Entire province income will be provided. Oh, that's yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's grab that for a turn. That's real spicy. If we're ever in trouble, we can just teleport. Target army belonging to you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I just have to press the button. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so with all of these, I've been needing to impact. Oh. Oh. Didn't realize I need to press the button. I thought it just leveled them up anyway. Ah, but you can choose what you want it to do. Do I need to remove corruption from any of these? Nope. Um, right, so yeah, that one. Empower. Then I can do it to any army. Oh, no, sorry. Empower. Then I can do it to any force. Teleport them all away. Send it all the way over to Cathay just for reasons. Why can't I do that? Okay, I'm selecting one. Um, I mean, why not? Hey, Archeon, do you want to go on a, <laughs> go on a trip? Um... Okay, on in chat. Nope, I do not. Okay, no. Let's send let's send this one away. Bye. Whee! <laughs> That's amazing. I'd probably, to be fair, I'd do this to um Zinch all the time because I feel like they've really screwed me over in so many campaigns with their like their stops or their settlement swaps. Have some vengeance. Right, Costanton's only ready to deal with them. That's good. Rengrad upgrade, yep. Yeah, you're desperate to upgrade. Frost. Send you down here. The ice court shall provide. The ice court shall provide. Essen. Upgrade all of you. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Need to get the growth stuff in here to get Jakova maximum growth up. And yeah, all your, all your farms. Do that as well. Uh, I need to, I need to buy that from the Empire. Can I, I mean, I could give them 
Mm, I could give them this, couldn't I? I was thinking about giving it to Wolfenberg, but um, to, to Hockland rather, but let's give it to the Empire. Hey, friends. The Empire. Have I got Greetings a trade for Sigma. you? The Vastra for Castle von Rocken. Oh, come on! a good deal is it because like that's just not a great settlement right now do i need to take a provincial capital for you i don't think i can do that though because wolfenberg the vastra is like in bits as well mate come on do you want me to you want me to sprinkle some economic investment in it get a military building in it and they'll love it really okay let's try that Have they just spanked um, Slanesh? No, they've Slanesh's actually pushed out and taken Alicia. So I think, like, no, they've been spanked, I think. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Unwavering duty. Absolute devotion. The gods send us forth. Yeah, you're going to go join Kostatan's army. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to swap those Kostars over to Katrin because she's she's lacking some missile troops, isn't she? Heed me. But she can probably just recruit her own in. To be honest, you get rid of the horse archers and just pop some in. I question their loyalty to Kislev. Hag witch. Only true believers may serve. against chaos. Even rebellion? Oh yeah, rebellions are a thing. It's fine. I can do a quick deal for some cash, I'm sure. For the mortuary cult. I so, don't want it with you guys, though. <laughs> Wintertooth, you're considering a, a piece now. The day to war. Welcome to my throne. That'll do. Mm. Perfect. No, skip that. There we go, Catherine. Lovely. Tribesmen gather. Tribesmen gather. Right. That all looks good to me. Uh, we need to do some incantations, X's, blessings. Yes, yeah, so we don't have too much long actually of this campaign to go. So we just got that final hex to do, and then that unlocks the the final final one, right? Then we won the campaign. I feel like it would have been nice to have combined with the the quest for her hexes to also have some alternative ones as well of like defeat these five factions as well. Just to theme it a little bit more, give you a little bit more direction where you want it. It's been really exciting. Councils of War with Katrin and Costal in the same room together with a creature they probably both thought was a myth. Yeah, it's going to be um, going to be quite an interesting one, isn't it? I feel like of, of both of them, maybe Catherine might just about offer some kind of reverence or... Endless veneration. No, like a, a nod of respect, whereas Costaton's going to be like, Burn the heretic creature from the forest. Battle for the last hex was the hardest quest battle you played until now. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Astrogoth is back, baby. Um, there be the rebels. I'm going to go into Voltsgrad with the cost of in and then jump out next turn. They're marching up here. Of course they are. Wait, I can do the... I can trap them so they can't move. Empowered. They are in prison. In, they are... 
but empower it. Yeah. And then he can't move at all, can he? Camera movement disabled. Disables march. Use underway and teleportation stances. Oh, Catherine can probably just come back in and spank him one. It's fine. Didn't need to do that. Although, if Catherine does that, then Archeon is going to be like, hey, so we'll attack Archeon. Then if we've got enough movement, bounce back. But that's A-OK. -okay. Ooh, hey, Cormac. How you doing? It is so. Process, Whitling. Go, go, Closer. go. Feed the forest rage. Keep up with my sled. Hmm. Call me. Call witch. me witch. Witch. See, I did it. Hee <laughs> hee. What are you gonna do? Turn me into a newt? Absolutely not. Yeah, upgrade all those. Get your growth going. A few more turns. Demon Boris, Slayer. you've got those guys to come on in. Uh, we'll give you two more of them. <laughs> Once you get the witch in there. Yeah, we were going to go for two more of them and two of them, I think. But well, you know what? We'll probably pick them up later slash when we go north. Oh, no, we can get the... Ah, oh, the Watchmen. Nice. And are those guys... Cannot recruit you. We don't have enough money. Okay, they're all... Are they all back? Yeah, because we lost them all pretty much at the same time. The Watchmen, though, were with Ostankia originally. Yeah. So, in fact... Um, oh, yeah, I picked up another one of these guys, didn't I? So, get rid of one of the Kislevite Warriors. Boom. Pop the Watchmen back in. Then we've got two Zargard in there. I mean, we'll eventually shuffle it around a little bit, but... Give them back to you there. Uh, so none of the others are ready yet. But if we leave those two spaces over, then you can have the bear and the war bear riders. So yeah, I'm a-okay with what he's got going. So we just got to wait another two turns. Then his army can march north. It's quite an elite army as well, which is good. Right, we will go back to... Yeah, go towards the Orangrad Code. Because yeah, this is going to be... A long campaign. Then we will uh, we will have the we will have the ultimate crisis to, to ultimate crisis the end game crisis to face actually for victory, but our our objective is to complete the long long campaign victory and then if we need to kind of make space in the schedule to fit in Thrones of Decay if that releases in the next few weeks hopefully it will do, um, then maybe we'll end before we finish the long the end game crisis kind of depends where it is although actually for Stanky it's probably She's probably best equipped to kind of deal with one of the ones that spawns in further away because she can teleport to them if needs be. Kind of, I guess, it would be thematic if it was the Chaos Dwarf one at this point. Um, Defy chaos. At least we're facing them. Yeah, it's just Catherine to move, right? Catherine. None shall question me. Smack Archeon. He's gonna run away. Finish him off. Close victory. Medium casualties. Really, I think we can we can deal with you comfortably. I'm not gonna use any of my blessing stuff. I think we'll be fine. Let's have an Archeon smack. Oh, it's a choke point as well. Beautiful. Here we go. Uh, do I have a favorite DLC, Lord? Um, Ikit Claw. I mean, any of the Chaos Dwarves first, then Ikit Claw, because nukes. You fired for awesome. We're gonna need to rush that. Keep them closed in there. If we can. Hey! 
the orthodoxy. Taking position. Turn them all down. with some of that magical flim flam hit him with some of that get a cavalry round slow them all down as well Hit him with the heart of winter. Really going to start doing some mega damage now. Chaos spawner going. That guard. Not quite caught that right, but that's fine. as much as possible. Okay, on. Gone. Watch me, father. Spreading hard cross. of ice on the march. Cold fury for the motherland. The golden knights. That speed is not great. <laughs> be hit by frostbite yeah it really lowers the speed down this is the kind of probably one of the few times where i'm like maybe i should put her on a horse but i like having her on foot he's gonna run but we've already hit him twice so he'll get defeated happy days
140 lost. Not bad. We'll take 9% yeah, replenishment thing. Yo, I need to apply those banners. Doom Slayer. That's rather tasty. Oh, especially yeah, the melee increase. Back in here. My goal, my decision. Then uh, firing drills for them. Uh, we'll go best in the court. That's some strength for them. Guild cross. Yeah, so firing drills what I want next. Nice, 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 nice. With this, I got Kislev. Golden Knights. You've powered them up. Learn from the best. Experience gained for them. And then we'll do unmatched in the old blasts when we've got some ice guard available. If we get some ice guard available before the end of the campaign. We've got our best street. I mean, we're trying to level up Kislev for that, aren't we? Next tier will let us get them. Three more turns, then you'll have what we need. But yeah, we, we should do at least to face the end game crisis for sure, which we'll, which we'll get when we hit the long victory objective. To be fair, I feel like we'll need that recreant spirit to help us with whatever the in-game crisis is. Right, let's end the turn. Then we can go hit Astrogoth next turn. Hello. Hmm. Can I hold its close defeat high casualties? I wonder if we can turn it around by popping these onto the right things. I'm going to put onto those two because these ones will disappear, whereas those guys will stay there longer. Uh, range. Those. We concentrate our force together, but they'll be they'll be spread out all over the place. And the demon prince is pretty strong himself. We don't have anything to counter him. I think because we've got our other army, we've got our Stanky's army following up. I'll just take the order of resolve here rather than a really big slog, and then we can we can fight it with our Stankier next time. We'll still fight it. In our He's going to sack it anyway. Oh, silly boy. Uh, yeah, likewise, that's going to get wrecked. Let's have a showdown with the Demon Prince. That'd be nice. Strange that bits of paper keep us from one another's throats. Hey, guilty. Um, the, I don't need it, but yeah, sure. Do it. Have military access. Nice, you've taken that one. So you might wipe out Slanesh at this rate. The seducers of, I should say. That'd be grand. Main threat is Ebress. Good. Yeah, I'm... I mean, I I don't know. I feel like, actually, what I'm going to do with this agent... Is, after this, I'm going to send you up to go see what's going on with Malekith. Because normally, he's a big mad lad and he, he'll get involved here. Sure, they've they've been able to hold much better because they haven't had Mummy Marathi come on in and cause some trouble because I've taken her out. But normally Malekith descends from the north fairly effectively as well. And Silostra's still going. So that'd be interesting. From chaos. We all all right, Cormac. You're going to run, aren't you, boy? Come here. I want to smash you. Let me unleash some full fury. Well, Stanky's army. Uh, it's medium casualty, so yeah, again, I'm I'm gonna fight this one. Um, although because you're already weakened after that last bit, do I really want to pop some curses on you? No, I'm gonna save them. So here we go.
Right, here you go. Show everyone. Stop wiping. <laughs> Are you a triceratops? Yeah. You have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Lots of fun. Mm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> is Carl Franz still saying that one of his campaigns will be on set? We will check after this battle. Right. Start deployment. There's a demon prince to go. To go smash. I'm gonna fire or stank yet. Right, um, Ulrika can be the demon slayer and bring him down. Spooders, I am gonna have you here and throw you straight into the woods. Send you guys forward there, and the Streltsy. You know the tales about me, about Mother Stankia and her go, curses and go. her cauldron. Take heart, because the Who do we want to Yogi not. against? But I will teach them well. Let's tear down all of his armor and make him, yeah, exposed to missile damage. That looks painful. Um, I'm going to yogi away the Seekers of Selenesh because I don't much care for them. Three, two, one. Yogi bear away. Heal herself. Smash that right there. Yogi did a good job. Um, slow you all down. Get her out of there if we can. Because she's taking some damage. Go. Hit the Demon Prince again. Go, speed is go. Tear down his armor. Sit back, relax, and watch the demon prince crumble. They are out of here. Boom. Take some replenishment, thanks. You, you are my 
Defeat the Demon Prince. More relations to Kislev. Attrition. Yeah. What's that done? Uh, we'll put you into the Hell Pit because it can be repaired. And then we can go after this army that's coming through next. Zarina Catherine of Kislev. Zarina Catherine of Kislev. Um. Yeah, I want Katrin's revenge against Astrogoth. Oh, he doesn't have the Dreadquakes in there either. Ooh, oh, they've got a Skullcracker in there, though. Damn. Have oh, they not got the Dreadquake active? Do you have to, I'm trying to remember how you get that active or not. Yeah, cast out and go smash the Rebellion. Equazok. Don't need to fight that. The motherland fights as well. Let me pop these on units though before I forget to. They will serve the motherland. They will serve the motherland. Right, we'll probably do for multiple battles far away from the capital. I guess that is a benefit of just having this. Stankier start to be fair. Follow yeah, send Catherine to go deal with the Norskins over there. Throg New and Costaltin. Move to this defend Plesk. And then strike across from here. How much do you need for that? Firebrand. Four points on the bit before. I mean, to be fair, it's not going to benefit us right now, so I'd rather go through powering him up a bit I more. This for do, 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 do. Get some witch brew in there and some forbidden fence. Slow them down. Good. Or lightning strike, yep. Cool, 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 cool. Patriarch of Kislev. Let's go check out the territory over here, how far they've pushed this way, so I can see the extent of their push. They're all chilling over here, so I can see what's coming next. I'll just move you down here for full vision. Catherine. Firing drills. My rule grows absolute. Five more turns there. Boris Ursus himself. The lost Tsar returns. The lost Tsar returns. You bet chaffing from them, really. Right, yeah, you guys said to try trading this to the Empire once you put a military building in there. So oh, they spent like one. No, they spent like six now. Strength rank one is Hexiotl, actually. Then Sylvania. <laughs> then it's us with Strength rank three. Then we don't know who four and five are. Then it's Reichland. Don't know who seven is. Then it's Itza with eight. Don't know who number nine is. And then it's the Dwarves character Quadrin. Interesting. I wonder who four is. Uh, four, probably. Surely it's Malekith. We haven't seen him. Hagwitch. But yeah, back back to the Empire to talk. Now, greetings from Sigma. Ooh, that definitely helped. You guys are right. Putting a military building in there. So is that what, is that what the AI values over anything else? Like military buildings. We actually don't have like the best relations. I'm assuming if we had better relations, maybe it might help. Be more inclined to deal. I mean, I could go take, uh, like, go smash Norden and give them that. Uh, I mean, upgrade it, I guess. Yeah, I've never really known what they what they waited against, but that that definitely made a difference for sure. Um, them having a military building in there. So whoever said that was uh, on the money.
They value military buildings the most. That way they you can even make AIs your vassal when they don't like you that much. Military allies. Okay, kind of broken. Yeah. Ah, well, today I learned. I cause yeah, I never knew that. But today I learned. Cool. Obey. Oh, we need to do yeah, this again. Oh, many more. 613 away from that. We can do purification charm. We can empower it to, yeah, power it to spend even more, which we might as well always do, right? Oh, yeah, do it there. Because that still counts spending. So, yeah. Anytime we can use any of those now, we want to do it. Ek Udi. Ek Udi. Sounds like he's like, where's my hoodie? Gold. <laughs> Be proud, men. I follow the bear. I follow the bear. Ah, nuts. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, Stanky is in the area to deal with that. Such a small god. You're going to want peace, aren't you? Um, and then you're powerful. And I know I've got other enemies that I could go and deal with first. But I, I kind of want vengeance. Plus, I want to get North Jersey back. So, maybe we'll peace out with you a little bit later. Hello. You're actually attacking me, are you? Ooh, and you're going to kill off those boys. Well, we can't have that now, can we? wonder if it changes if we pop some bits in here. Let's pop the range boosting on the Streltsy. And then to you guys. No, still losing them. Well, we will open fighting this next time. Uh, we've got the Cadai Fireborn bit nasty. They can summon some more Kedai Fireborn and they've got that armor buff there. The Skullcracker. That'll be kind of fun to see in action. Thankfully it's not a dread quake a dread quake. A dread quake one. Um Blunderbuss is nasty. But yeah, we'll open with this next time. Watch on YouTube. Hope you've enjoyed more Ostenkia Kislev action. Until the next one, take care. Ciao for now.